However, we physicists say that the universe was created in a Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago. But then the question is, why did it bang? What set off the bang? Scientists have dedicated years to seeking proof of extraterrestrial life. In the pursuit of exploring far-off planets, the JWST has stumbled upon something extraordinary. This discovery questions our understanding of our galaxy's evolution. Could the JWST have uncovered indications that the Big Bang might not have occurred? Famous scientist Mikio Kaku believes that this discovery requires a reassessment of our understanding of the universe and the origin of our planet. So join us as we uncover this mystery and discuss if everything began with the Big Bang. Since the James Webb Space Telescope beamed its brilliance into space, astronomers have uncovered intriguing details about one galaxy after another. However, its recent revelations are being hailed as a groundbreaking discovery challenging our standard cosmology model. Infrared instruments, astronomers have identified what seem to be six massive galaxies from the universe's early days. Scientists estimate each galaxy's appearance between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang. That's noteworthy. What's even more intriguing is that some observations by the JWST don't quite align with cosmologists' models of early galaxy evolution. Consider this. These galaxies are colossal, nearly 10 billion times larger than our Sun. Remarkably, one galaxy appears more massive than even the Milky Way, which is surprising. Our galaxy took billions of years to form and grow. So how is it that these young galaxies already house billions of stars so soon after the Big Bang? Galaxy formation is neither quick nor easy. It took the universe almost 350 million years to craft the very first galaxies. These early galaxies started small, accumulating mass over time, birthing stars, and expanding into space. This is our understanding of the universe. Unveiling ancient galaxies shortly after the Big Bang and discovering their unexpected mass challenges our understanding of the universe's evolution. Questions arise. Did the Big Bang occur as we believed, and is it time to reassess its nature? American theoretical physicist Miyako, prompted by the JWST's groundbreaking findings, contemplates rewriting the standard model of cosmology and re-examining our assumptions about the universe's formation. This revelation carries significant implications as the Big Bang theory stands as humanity's pinnacle achievement in the last century. Have we prematurely celebrated 100 years? The Big Bang Theory serves as our primary explanation for the universe's origin. Given our current technological limitations preventing a literal glimpse into the universe's birth, much of our knowledge about the Big Bang relies on mathematical formulas and models. While directly observing the Big Bang remains impossible, astronomers detect its echo through the cosmic microwave background. In essence, a majority of the astronomical community aligns with the Big Bang Theory, with only a small fraction entertaining alternative explanations for the universe's existence. According to this theory, 13.7 billion years ago, the universe didn't exist. Instead, everything was condensed into an infinitely small singularity, a point of infinite density and heat. Suddenly, a Big Bang occurred, an explosion that triggered the expansion of that singularity, causing our universe to balloon outward faster than the speed of light. The rapid expansion, known as cosmic inflation, lasted for mere fractions of a second, as proposed by physicist Alan Guth's 1980 theory. Then, mysteriously, it all came to a halt. What remained was a vast collection of fundamental particles, including neutrons, electrons, and protons. These elemental components would go on to mold the universe into the stars, galaxies, and other enigmatic galactic bodies we observe today. Detecting this early cosmic soup would be impossible, but 380,000 years post-Big Bang, the afterglow permitted light to finally permeate through, a phenomenon known as the cosmic microwave background. When scientists peer into the history of ancient galaxies, Determining their exact age proves challenging. Instead, they gauge what's termed a redshift. 
This refers to the cosmic light's wavelength stretching during its journey to Earth. A redshift of zero indicates no stretching, while a doubling of the original wavelength results in a redshift of one. Per our cosmology model, the universe is in a constant state of expansion, with the redshift directly linked to the extent of the universe's expansion between light emission and observation. This is crucial for space exploration. When scientists determine the extent of the universe's expansion since light emission, they can translate this expansion into either time or distance. The redshift allows them to gauge the distance of an exoplanet or galaxy from Earth. This is how astronomers establish the youth of the six identified galaxies. However, the puzzle arises. Why are these galaxies so immense shortly after the Big Bang? Could the universe have expanded much more rapidly post-Big Bang than our estimates? For galaxies to form so quickly and reach such sizes, they would need to convert all available gas into stars, a process with a 100% conversion rate. Yet, this high rate is improbable, as galaxies typically convert no more than 10% of gas into stars. While a 100% conversion is theoretically feasible, it stretches the limits of our calculations and assumptions. The JWST has posed a genuine dilemma for astronomers. Solving this mystery might ultimately enhance our perspective and comprehension of the universe. Several potential explanations exist for what astronomers are observing. It's possible that the light we're witnessing doesn't originate from stars, but from accretion. Accretion, a process where particles accumulate into a massive object due to gravitational forces, could be indicative of supermassive black holes. In this scenario, galaxies might seem more extensive than their actual size. Another way to interpret this situation is to consider the possibility that the conversion of light to stellar mass is flawed. Astronomers might once again be overestimating the mass of these galaxies. Alternatively, we might be underestimating the efficiency of early galaxy formation. In the early stages of cosmic history, galaxy formation might have differed from our current observations. Perhaps the universe could rapidly convert a significant portion of available mass into stars, explaining the detection of massive galaxies so close to the Big Bang. However, if this holds true, it implies the need to reassess our current models of galaxy formation. Presently, scientists are exercising caution as the ages and masses of the galaxies are preliminary estimates, awaiting confirmation through spectroscopy. A comprehensive analysis will determine whether central supermassive black holes contribute to the galaxies appearing brighter and larger by heating their surrounding gas. There's also the possibility that the time calculation is imprecise, and the six galaxies might not be as young as initially estimated by astronomers. Consider this. It might just be dust playing tricks on the color of the light from the galaxy, creating the illusion of a redder hue and making it seem more distant, as if it's situated farther away in light years. Imagine if scientists can affirm their initial findings, proving these galaxies are indeed as large and young as estimated. This could lead to substantial shifts in our cosmology model. Witnessing the ripple effect throughout the scientific field would be quite thrilling. Given the monumental implications of this discovery, it's intriguing why not many scientists are discussing it. Why isn't this news gaining the attention it deserves? The collapse of the Big Bang hypothesis is no small revelation. So why isn't it making headlines? One plausible explanation is that cosmology funding primarily comes from a handful of government sources controlled by specific committees, with influential Big Bang theorists holding sway. Those who question the standard model often find themselves lacking the funds to pursue further investigations. Regardless of funding hurdles, James Webb is delving into space exploration like never before. Its observations alone are prompting the entire scientific community to reconsider the established cosmological models. Let's not forget that humans crafted the Big Bang Theory, and we have the capability to formulate a new advanced model to accommodate recent observations. If we did it once, there's no reason we can't do it again. In the grand scheme of things, the potential influence of cosmic dust on our perception of distant galaxies is a reminder of the ever-present need for scrutiny and revaluation in scientific inquiry. Should the scientific community validate these initial findings, 
It holds the promise of reshaping our understanding of the universe's vastness and youth. The limited discussion around this discovery raises questions about the dynamics within the scientific community. The apparent lack of widespread attention could be attributed to the dominance of certain influential figures in committees controlling cosmology funding. Big Bang theorists, holding significant sway in these circles, may inadvertently stifle alternative perspectives by withholding resources. Despite potential funding challenges, the James Webb Telescope emerges as a revolutionary force, unveiling unprecedented insights into space. Its observations, free from the constraints of conventional beliefs, serve as a catalyst for a collective revaluation of cosmological models. Remember, it was human ingenuity that birthed the Big Bang Theory, and this very capability empowers us to construct novel models that align with recent observations. The narrative of our cosmic origins is not static. It evolves with each revelation, challenging us to adapt and advance our understanding of the universe. What are your thoughts on whether Jade Odusti observations challenge our standard cosmology model? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for more space news updates.